and here let's show you a couple of the sapphires I've already found it's been raining all day so I just decided to do my first live shot now these are all from here right out of the mine right up the thing here look at this you can see the phantoms that's going to make an awesome cabochon just amazing same way we're here this will be even bigger look at this you can see the phantoms all right so let's get to it and let's dig some more you guys how's the quality is is the video anybody out there that's commenting could comment and let me know is the quality okay is it fuzzy because the signal here is kind of half and half um okay good thank you thank you so it is good all right so i guess i will keep doing this video then this is my first live youtube video maybe we'll do more of these in the future the problem with most of these live videos is that most of these locations all around the world that, that have crystals for whatever reason they're, they're out in the middle of nowhere and uh all right so i have dirt that we got off the mountain here he brought some down for us fresh out of the mine and i've got a little too much in this screen i'm sure yeah but that's because we're finding huge huge pieces of ruby i mean you know this is getting pretty wild this is a really good color so Let's see, Let's see what we got. Just got a little, little bit of water running through here, so. I'm no expert at the screening. I, I usually uh, dig, uh, you know, the amethyst and run machinery and all that good stuff. So this is a uh, little something I don't do too often, but I'm gonna tell you what, after coming here yesterday and today, I'm gonna start doing a lot more because it's awesome. I had no idea, and I grew up two hours from this place, had no idea that you could find stuff like this. All right, that's probably good enough. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we got some sun coming out. Can you guys see that? There's one, a little small. That's actually a garnet. Oh, here we go. Look at this. See these little garnets here? I love these things. That's that color. Yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm sure you're getting them too, but man, yeah, it, isn't that so just the, the, the most beautiful color? I mean, I keep watching them. golly, yeah. Very I'm still, I'm looking. Them little pieces, yeah. Put them in a jar with mineral oil. Oh, and they just pop. I, that's, that's what I'm thinking. You get about, 50, about 20 of these together in your hand, and it's going to just be the beautiful, gore, you know? Yeah. You know, I've seen people take these and get a bunch of these pieces and, and, and make put in an epoxy, oh, epoxy a bunch of them into a cat. No, you don't cab them or nothing. You're just put, using epoxy to hold them in place in, in kind of a setting. Good idea. Yep, yep. And, you know, get good epoxy, you know, good, right. you know, so it doesn't yellow. Right. So you guys can do that too. So, good all right, yeah, I'm yeah. Try that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we have here bunch of little garnets in here i'm not gonna collect every little garnet i see because there's probably like a hundred of these little garnets in here but anytime i see those crazy colored ones definitely keeping those and you know i'm probably going to be missing some small rubies or sapphires because like i say they get so large here that you don't want to spend too much time looking for the small ones you know so Let's get a, another screen here going. All righty. Let me make sure you guys have a good view of this. Let's see, I'm going to bring you guys a little closer here so you can see the, the actual screen. Okay. Let me see here getting you guys set up here and I'm gonna you get a little better shot here maybe we'll even zoom in a bit you guys can see I'm in North Carolina Franklin at the Mason Mountain gym mine I am doing a 
official YouTube video here, which is why I'm here, but uh, I figured, you know what, I've got a live, a good signal, let's try this live video stuff, I've never done this, so... Sometimes you can see them just pop right out if they have really good color. All right. Is that? Nope. Can you guys see that? I think so. Oh, yeah, you can see that a little bit. If it was a little more sunny here, it would be a bit better, but I think you guys can, can see the see in there. Let's see. I don't see anything right off. There's a garnet. Pretty nice garnet. Just for you guys tuning in, finding some really big chunks of ruby here. These don't look like much, but once you get just a little bit beneath the surface here that's degraded, they will be beautiful color. Like, look at this. A couple of, couple of screens ago. And I'm finding so many that I'm like, you know what? You guys probably get a kick out of this, so... Alright, I'm seeing lots of little pieces of the garnet. There is a sliver, sliver of a ruby, but we'll keep that. I like to uh, go back one more time with them here. Oh, nothing in that one. Nothing crazy anyway. All right, let's do another one. And these aren't like your salted buckets, you know, so you'll go through some and you won't find anything. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be good here. Feel it. Right. Oh, look at that garnet. What did you find? What you find? Ah, uh, just a garnet so far. <laughs> What's the biggest thing you found? You found oh, oh, this one. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. See, see the see the star. Yeah. Kind of. Well, that's the star. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, the phantoms. Yeah. That'll make a really good cap. And and when you get just a little bit beneath the surface, it's degraded. The color comes out a little bit more. And then when you polish, so you them, polish them, it really yourself? comes out. I, I've polished a few. I, I haven't been here much. This is my kind of, yeah. Oh, this is, the, other yeah. Oh, other places. Yeah. But, but this is, uh, I, I didn't expect it to be honestly this productive, you know, yeah, I really I didn't. This is, this is, uh, I, I, I tell you what, I would have been here a lot sooner than today. If I don't know this, I mean, I, I, I'm looking for just Ruby sapphires and like, I, it, it, like, like that, like, I'm going to keep that. Look at that. Look at the color of that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's not a ruby. That's just a garnet. But wow. Look at. I mean, that's. That's what I look for too. That's beautiful. That's the garnets I'm yeah. finding are too dark and big. Oh, and, and some of them are, and then I'll keep those too. Yeah. But 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 every now and then you'll get those little bitty beads. He, I asked the guy, the owner, and if if what's the biggest piece like that he's ever seen? He said about gumball size. So can you imagine? I mean, because well, because the color is just insane. Yeah. It just it pops. It, it's just the it's just the mineralization. Yeah, it's the rhodonite, and rhodonite you don't see a whole. I don't. I don't. I'm not an expert on rhodonite garnets, but I know there's some nice ones like in Africa, I think, and there's not not a whole lot of spots. Like this is this is definitely. Yeah, I mean, world class color. So oh, it is. It is. Uh huh. Oh, it is. And what you know, and what I like about it, you know. Well, and this is legit. This isn't salt. It's you know. It's it's. You know, it's what it is. So that's what I like about it. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, this stuff aren't, this isn't the salted buckets that you find, you know, or salted material that you'll see on the side of the road, which, you know, I'm not downplaying those places. They're great, great for kids, great for beginners. And when you're really getting into the hobby, but, uh, you know, when you've really been doing it a while, you don't want to go to a place that's, uh, that they already know what you're going to find, um, which is not the case here. There was a thousand carat ruby yesterday found thousand carat this big 
I seen it. I got it on video. You guys, you all be able to see it on the next video I put out. A thousand carats. I didn't find it, but I got shot, you know, good shot of it, good footage. So let's do another one here. I'll back out away where you guys can see. How about do we do this? Give you guys a little quick tour here. I don't know how the uh, quality will do when I move the camera, but you can see, let's do this. You can see behind me here, the flume here, a couple hundred foot long flume, so plenty of room for plenty of people, and uh, it's just awesome. This is, this, is, this is great. This is great. And a couple of people hanging out today will pan around. What you do, you have all this area you can dig, and I'm going to pan around here. Sorry if it gets a little fuzzy because we're on live and the signal's probably not the strongest here. I'm gonna pan, slowly pan, before the water filters out and is re, uh, re-pumped. And then that is where you go. And he, they bring the, the uh, some piles fresh out of the mine. I've got that on video as well. We'll show that on the next official video of this place, but you take the piles and you bring them on up. I'm going to swing around real quick here. Sorry for the motion sickness, but. And let's get to digging a few here. All right. We need to get back to it. You guys see what we can find here. Get this camera set up. Okay. Got a little sun out. The sun always helps because you can see these things. This is a uh, probably a 500 carat ruby that I found earlier. It looks really dark because it's actually a kind of a ruby sapphire combination, which is neat because it gives it some purple colors. So when this is cabbed, which I'll show in the later video, oh, it's going to be beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's a that's a huge huge ruby. All right, so we got. I might be putting a little too much in these screens, but I'm going at it. There's one right there. I see it already. Oh, this place is loaded. All right. There is a rough ruby got some nice little pinks and maybe some purples when these are polished Whew. a little warm out here not bad for June in the mountains this now this is a cluster of the garnets show you guys up close here the Sun's not out today so you may or may not be getting a really good view look at that Pretty cool, pretty cool garnets. All right, let's get a closer view of this pan here. See what's in here. All right, I already took uh, a couple pieces out of this bucket. Let me get a little close up here. Doing another little cleaning here. Look at that, that's pretty cool with the mica on the feldspar. There's a big garnet. Big look at that. Okay. Here we go. I've already pulled out one ruby out of this screen. And you know, I'm, I'm probably missing some small ones, but I've got a limited time here today, so I am going at it. We are at, uh, for the people just joining in, we are at, or I, I guess it's just me, but I am at uh, Mason Mountain. Mason Mountain Mine here in Franklin, North Carolina. And as 
a really cool place. I've known about it for years. I can't believe growing up two hours from here that I've never been here. I mean, I could really kick myself in the butt for coming here over all these years. I mean, this is crazy. All right, let's try another one. Okay. Oh yeah, the sun's coming out. Let's get a close up. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah. Oh, actually, I need dirt. I'm out of dirt. Look at that. So you guys, I'll show you what we do here. Let me pan you around. Sorry for the head spin there. And I've got to go down here. Right there, not too far. It's not a bad walk. Sorry about the camera movement there. I don't have the best uh, setup here, but I'm going to get some better equipment one of these days here soon. All right, let's go get another bucket. Whew. You know, I wonder, it might not matter, but I seem to be getting all the big ones from this side. I started off yesterday on the other side, and, and I didn't find one ruby for like the first two or three buckets, but, but it's the same pile, so who knows, who knows. I can't tell what they are. You can't, not till you get it washed, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they're all. Let's see. Yeah. That's a fun thing to do. It is. This is fun. It's not bad either. I like the way the setup is. You know, you got the dirt right here. Hey, that might be. Yeah, yeah, you saw it. I think that is one. Let's see. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty neat piece. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and stick that in your... Well, you won't miss it. You won't, you're not, you you're not. want to put it in your bucket? Yeah, just throw it Yeah, you, you'll I see it. Miss. You won't miss that. No, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, this is fun. But yeah, I like the way you can just... It's a nice little setup they got here. This is not a bigger rock, but you know... Yeah. You can't really show it stuff in until you... It yeah, normally, you know, you just throw out all your big ones right off, but you can't here because it could be a sapphire. I mean, or a ruby, you know. Oh, I mean, I found a 500 carat today. I'm sure that piece is 500 carats. Yeah. That that rough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If... Okay. You didn't fill your bucket up. Yeah, I could have went on the scoop. <laughs> Are you talking about, yeah. And I probably should. Yeah, I usually do have it running over. I guess I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Whew. No, it's just you pay. Uh, there's a thing right over there. It's uh, 40 a day. Many buckets as you want. Yeah. That's what's nice. I think I like about this place. They they provide the bucket. They provide everything you need. Yeah. What I got there was thirty dollars a bucket. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, where at? It's just a... Right here. Oh, the salty bucket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd just as soon do the... Well, see, here's the difference. Oh, and I've seen that one crystal you got $30 piece at court. So you got you got your money's worth on that, but this is... They don't know what's in this. No. I mean, they know but, potential, but so... You can get all the buckets you want for $40. That's right. Oh. But you're not going to find... It ain't going to be like those buckets, so salted, but, no. but, but this is... But see, like them buckets right there now, $30 a bucket. Yeah. No, no, not out of that. Yeah. Where? Here? Yeah. Not here. No, it's no, it's, it's many buckets. Thirty dollars is a half a day, and you get all the buckets you want. Oh, you just fill the bucket up. Okay, you guys. Yeah, he was asking one of the guys here about how it works. Maybe or maybe you can see this if I can hold it still enough. Forty bucks per day. Thirty bucks for half a day, and you get to fill up these buckets as many as you can fill and go through. Okay, let's go with it. Ooh, let me take a look. That's for the salted buckets. Not, not for these. All right. There was a guy down there confused on the 
it's on the buckets and how they work. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I put a little much in here. Let's do it. You really want to get that dirt off these pieces so you can see what you got. Alrighty. And you know, because this is a legit place, this stuff is not salted, you know, you're not going to get stuff in every single bucket. But, like yesterday, you could find a thousand carat ruby, like the lady did. And you could tell the owner was like, whoa, <laughs> that was a good find. And I asked him, I said, how many, how many thousand carat rubies come out like that? You know, how often? He said, one, one every week or two, a couple weeks. Some one five, I, mean, I found one, now hers was a really nice shape, you know, with all the sides. But this is a ruby, ruby sapphire. It'll have to be cut, but this will make some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pieces of jewelry. This is, this is all the, I'll show you guys. I went through maybe five or six buckets today. And these are all the rubies I pulled out so far from here. This being potentially, I think, the best. I'll show you guys real quick. You can see there's like, I don't know if you can catch it, but there's phantoms. So this is like ruby with phantoms. So you could take this piece and cab it, and it's going to be just beautiful. Seriously. Incredible. All right. Let's get back to it. Let's zoom y'all in. Let's see a little bit closer. I didn't see anything right off in this bucket. You're always going to get little pieces of the rhodonite garnet, which are the most jimmy things I've ever seen. Probably, yeah, they would have to be the most jimmy, the most gem crystal that I've ever dug. I mean, they're tiny. But they're flawless. Some of these, some of these pieces are flawless. I actually, yesterday when I dug, I was getting a little bit more excited about the, the tiny garnets than I, than I was even the, the. Uh, there's a tiny piece of ruby sapphire, tiny tiny. But I was really getting excited about these uh, these garnets, you guys, because they are. I've got one yesterday. It's small like this, but it was so pink and purple and Jimmy. All right, I'm not seeing a whole lot. But I thought you guys could have fun with me here and help me look through these screens and join along because it's pretty rare that I'm in a dig site that I actually have a signal to do this. I have a full edited video of this location coming out soon and you can see actually where he gets this stuff up from the actual location on the mine in the pits which is not accessible for uh, everyone but we wanted to show you guys where exactly this stuff is coming from. All right. Don't see any crazy big pieces. So what I like to do is take these large ones out. Let me make sure my, you guys can still hear me. Yeah, we're on. Everything's looking good. Yeah. What I like to do is take these large pieces out of here first because then the, you can really see the small ones a little bit easier. I mean, there's hundreds of little garnets in here. And then you get, they get a little bit bigger like this one and they, they seem to lose their clarity. But uh, I think I just seen, there's another little garnet. I think I just seen a piece of, yeah it is, yep. 
nope, that's garnet. Sometimes the garnets, you can get those confused with the sap rubies because they have a similar color. Another garnet. Okay. Garnet. And, you know, I, I would look through these a little bit more precise, but because we're pulling out rubies like this, you know, I'm kind of going quick with it. Three screens per bucket, which is probably too much, but you get unlimited amounts of material to go through here. It's as much as you can screen, so... Oh, I think I've seen one. There it is. I see it already. You guys see it in there? Let me see if you got a good shot. Can you see it? I'm assuming it's uh, let's do a close up. I'm assuming this is somewhat good quality video. I don't know. If it's really coming in in good HD or not, but uh, there it is. There is a chunk. Now, the reason why these are in pieces like this, and the reason why they're some, they don't look like they've got you know the best color, but you get just right inside of this outside part that's been decayed a bit, and you'll see the color. Like like this piece, apparently, it's been broken kind of recently so it hasn't gotten decayed and lost on the very outside so you can still see the good color in there but yeah these are going to look awesome and the reason they're like that is because they're alluvial alluvial crystals is when oh look at that looks just like a rock but when you turn it over there's there's good color inside this when you get alluvial it just means the crystals formed here and over time the mountains have decayed they're no longer here, and the pieces kind of just went down into the mountain streams and things where they ended up uh, falling into. So they get a little bit roughened up. But the good thing is that they are pretty hard. I, what's it, like a 7.58 or something? I, I, I'm not, I should know, but they're harder than quartz. And because of the hardness, it has allowed them to still get decayed around the edges, but they don't break really easy. And once you polish this, oh. And these will star. Oh, here we go. Here's some sun. Hey, guys. Let's see. I'll show you that ruby again. Oh, the sun's going away. All right. Let's see here. Any more? Two found out of this bucket so far. This screen. That's pretty wild to get two in one screen. I think I had... Oh, here's a piece of kyanite. Every now and then, you get a little... Look at that. A little blue kyanite. Pretty, pretty uncommon here. They don't even really list it in the minerals that you can find. But I have seen a couple of small pieces like that since I've been digging. It forms uh, with and near the uh, silimonite. And as you'll see in a future video, the only reason I can even pronounce I have to think about it. Don't, I, I, I had a hard time pronouncing uh, sil <laughs> silimanite until this guy told me, he said, say silly man, and then ite, silly man ite, silimanite, silly man ite, silly man ite. So that's the only way I can even say <laughs> But we don't get that here. I don't think, I haven't seen one piece of sil silimanite here. But a couple pieces of kyanite. Let's do another bag or another... Uh, Another screen here. Oh, I'm already out. I gotta go get another one. So you guys want to keep watching? Um, I'm assuming people are just joining in. So yeah, we still got a few few people watching here. So let's go for the guys just joining in. I'll give you a quick overview of the flume. Real quick, and that's where. I go get this material, so 
bear with me. I'm gonna go get some fresh stuff. What a wonderful day. It's like, if you guys can still hear me, I'm a little far out of range from my mic, but it, maybe you can hear me, but it's, uh, it's like 80, to, no, 75, 80 maybe, high today, which is awesome because last week it was 98. They said some places hit triple digits here in the mountains, which is pretty wild and very uncommon this time of year, especially. Oh, oops. Oh man, there's gonna be rubies all in this. I can just feel it. I tell you what, the mine, he has got a lot of plans with this mine, you guys. I, I would really try to get up here because I guess they've got so much material that they can really hook you up like this, you know, and bring out a bunch of good stuff. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow at the Jackson's Crossroads dig, I'm probably not going to be able to do anything. <laughs> it's a good thing it's going to rain and I can just surface collect because sure. these arms, yeah, they, they'll be out of, out of whack. Yeah. I actually hit, I, surf, I'm a, I surf a lot and, and I've never had this happen. And, and maybe I'm out of practice, but I went surfing about three weeks ago. Yeah. Jumped off the wave, hit the bottom. Oh, no. My neck popped for about two days. I had long hair, I just cut my hair. I had to lift my, just to get out of bed, I had to pull myself up. Oh, <laughs> it was rough. No. So I'm still about, I may 85% in yeah. recovered, but I'm still tight here and here, you know, but Boy. I'm lucky I didn't break my neck. I mean, seriously, I could have, could have easily broken my neck. All right, you guys, we're gonna flip you back around. And I'm going to do some close-up shots, and I'll do a couple of different views so you guys don't get tired of seeing the same old thing here. We'll do a, uh, kind of come back here and get a little shot of washing through some material. All right, that looks pretty good. Whew. Oh, now we've got some sun. This is great. Normally, I don't like sun for uh, filming, but... Because of this material, it just pops. It glows. Look at this. Oh, I just dropped it. Look at this. Look at this garnet. This is the crazy rotolite garnet you get here, and they are so jimmy. They're small, but look at that. Can you see it? Is it zooming? I don't know if it's going to zoom. Up, oh, and we just lost the sun, so it's not going to look as. Anyway, you guys, I'll have a better video of all of this with nice editing and good shots coming up. Um, just thought you might want to see it live, and I've never done a live video, so we had a decent signal. So I said, you know what, why not? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Some sun. Probably overfilling over these, but... Right. This has got some big chunks in it here. All righty. I don't see any huge ones in this one. So no, no, no crazy ones. See, oh, look at this. One of those garnets I was talking about just now. You just probably can't see it, but the color is amazing. And the owner said that uh, he they found one about gumball size, like perfectly clear one day. Whew. Ooh, yeah, see these garnets? Must have hit a, look at this. This is my best formed one yet with color. I've gotten a lot of big chunks, but look at this little... Uh, not sure you're able to see it. Is it going to focus for me? 
yeah, not the best, not the best shot there, but <clears throat> we'll get some better footage, you guys, on the on the video when I put it out. A lot better, more clear footage with some nice lighting. There's another little, another little garnet, 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 garnet. But we need the ruby. Where's the ruby? Hmm. Ooh, it's getting a little warmer now. I think we're hitting about 80. That sun warming it up here. All right, I don't see anything huge here. I'm, there could very well be some small rubies in here, but I'm going to let this go. Oh, another garnet. Man, these garnets. Wait till you guys see these garnets when I have about 50 of these in my hand one time with some good lighting. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Ooh, that right there. That's a, that's a ruby. I can see the flatness of it. Look at this. And some people would call this corundum, but these are, in my opinion, I, these are ruby quality. Look at that. This has got striations, which uh, could throw off a star pattern when it's polished. You know, you do a cabochon with these. These aren't going to be rubies like you see that uh, are going to be... Now, they could be, but the rubies here are more cab cab time material versus facetable. But now these garnets are facet quality. You guys want to get a, you guys a close-up view... Maybe you'll like to see up close here what's going on. Especially since when it's sunny like this, you know, you can see in the bucket. I hope that's a good shot for you. There. Okay, that right there, that's really low quality. Um, it could barely, you probably would call it a ruby, but corundum, which is the same mineral, kind of like barrel and aqua, but there you go. Of course, they could polish out. They could have some color on the inside. But that's the ruby. Ooh, look at this, see? Man, I just can't get enough of these. I love them. Love these things. Look how beautiful the color is on these garnets. I had no idea. No idea they had this stuff here. At least it's easy to find, you know? I've always heard about it, but I just figured, you know, just a, a tourist thing. But no, nah, this is actually a... Uh, you could come here and dig, and uh, you could profit from this. You know, get a good day of work and and make jewelry, and cabochons out of this material. I mean, for 40 bucks a day, that's uh, you can't you can't argue with that. As many of these as you can go through, I mean, that's that's crazy. <clears throat> All right, let's go through another one. I'm seeing garnets, but kind of want to keep going here and get that. Thousand carat ruby was found yesterday. So. Not by me. I seen it happen, and I got it on video. And you guys may say, "Oh, it's salted." Nah, you'll see in the video that I put out. Uh, probably had the video in a couple weeks, maybe edited and stuff. But or, you know, he took me up to the pit and showed me exactly where they're coming from, and it's pretty cool. You'll be able to really see it and enjoy it. I guess the phone was in the middle of the sun. Luckily, I do have some shade. I can put it in here, but we can't get those crazy close-up shots like I was getting a while ago. Okay, you guys, here we go. We should be back on. I had just found a killer ruby, and I looked up, and I went to behind the camera to show it, and uh, it wasn't even there. I was like, no. Okay, so 
let's see here we get this foam back out a little closer not quite in the sun here so it doesn't lose the temperature okay you guys here we go we're back at it we are back Ooh, wow that was the one that that she yeah no we, i just took i just took that just now out that's of my bucket yeah that's the one that, that, that in your in your wife's bucket no oh wow okay she had one almost similar yeah that was does. in the bucket yeah yeah because we I, I seen it and i picked it up and put it in her, and said so, yeah that's definitely one just you know yeah 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 it's different that wasn't mine look at that and look at that thing oh can i you mind if i show her yeah, look ahead. at this you guys tell me what would you do pat. pat that's right pat pat just uh new friend of mine just found some huge rubies look at that that's got some really interesting uh formation there but those are all natural you know what happened i bet you another stone, another stone yeah. ruby was up against it make giving it those odd uh yeah look look at the one i just found look at that color oh my god <laughs> I, I was so excited because I, I found it and i was like just as a specimen you know not, not jewelry but i was like oh man and i went to show the show you guys and and the camera had I don't know what's happening. We're back to it. What happened was my uh, the temperature under control. Sorry, the phone, my phone was in the sun, and I guess because it's recording live, uploading constantly, it went too hot. So we were losing transmission for a few seconds. But it was crazy. Like, I didn't realize I had lost transmission. I'm over here, and I'm digging. I'm thinking I'm talking to you guys, and I found this insane... It's not... It's not jewelry quality, but it's uh, the color. This is what you're looking for here. Well, I, I like the purple. It's just got a little sapphire mixed in with a ruby. You can see. You know what? I don't know. I'm going to lose you for a couple of seconds, you guys. I'm going to put my settings to where the camera's always showing. Shouldn't lose you guys again. So I had two problems. I'm just learning about this live feed stuff. Apparently my phone's wanting to uh, cut off with the display. So I've got that fixed and we've got you in the shade so the temperature shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't cut off for that reason now and we can get back to this. So as I was just saying, I, uh, I was digging. I just found this killer little specimen piece. It's not jury quality, but the color is uh, it's when the ruby and the sapphire mineralization gets mixed. And you'll get, let's see if I can get a, you know, I'm trying my best here to zoom. I'll have a, a nice video here out soon, you guys, with much better footage. But look at that. Great color. All right, so let's get back and dig a few more of these out. Probably lost a lot of you guys during that last disruption. Um, sorry about that. Had some uh, phone issues, some temperature issues with the phone. This is my first live video, so that's something that I didn't know that would occur. I guess the constant uploading, you know. Uh, so let's see here. Let's see what else we got. The only problem is that that's as close as I can bring you guys unless we get cloud coverage, which is all around. So we'll get some more close-up shots here. So you guys can go through this with me. All right, I'm not seeing too much in here anymore. That really nice one came out, the specimen piece. Okay. Oh, I gotta get more dirt again. All right, you guys can follow me down. So we're gonna go right down here and get some more dirt. And as long as you guys wanna watch film, I think my camera's at like 25% though, so we might have another hour, half an hour. You guys might get to see something crazy come out. Oh, nice.
All right, I almost got this full here. And do another couple scoops here. This might be the lucky scoop, right? Oh man, right there. We got guys. I can feel it. Rubies, sapphires, garnet. They even found a piece of kyanite, which is kind of uncommon. But alrighty, and the sun's back on us, so I got to keep you guys here in the shade. But when we get a little more cloud coverage. I'll get you zoomed in. Yes, I'm at Mason Mountain. Sorry, I was a little too far away. Just had to go get some dirt real quick there. Okay. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Alright you guys, we'll do a couple more buckets. Looks like the sun's coming out. I really wanted you to get a closer view. You know, I guess I could shade my phone. Huh. That's an idea. Let's do that. Let's figure something out here. Put you guys in a better viewpoint. Okay. Now I've just got to shade this camera so we don't overheat like we just did a while ago. That's why I lost you guys earlier because we overheated. Phone temperature got a little hot. Let me see. All right, I'll just put a little bark over this phone like so. You guys can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm covering up my phone so that the sun's not scorching it. That's why we lost you guys earlier. Okay, I'm ending this, you guys. I've lost you. I don't know. I guess I just cut it to end it. Okay, here we go, you guys. Thank you for watching. We had a lot of uh, problems. My first time videoing, doing a live video. Um, but I hope you have uh, a little bit of fun footage you can go back and watch. I will have a really nice edited video of this location so you won't see all this messy, uh, blurry shots and stuff. So. Just hang in there. About two weeks from now, I'll have it out. I'm going to get back.